All right, welcome. Um, welcome to the uh, special city council meeting, actually the first meeting of the year for the uh, Federal Way City Council uh, for January 7th, our 5 p.m. meeting. I'll call the meeting to order. Um, first order of uh, business is the Pledge of Allegiance. Would you all please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, um, I have, uh, uh, we're here for council business for a quasi-judicial preliminary plat, a rezone request um, uh, for Creekside Commons Town Homes. I've got, uh, uh, as we have not done this process in actually quite some time, and, and uh, I've got some uh, instructions I need to read. Got to put my readers here. Um, all right, the public meeting is now open for the Creekside Commons townhomes application for preliminary plat and wet, uh, wetland buffer enhance, enhancement and reduction and associated uh, rezone. The purpose of this meeting is for the council to sit in its quasi-judicial capacity to hear and consider the pertinent facts related to the applications and to approve or deny two resolutions related to the same. Council may wish to impose conditions and or restrictions on the proposed applications. Everyone present will be given an opportunity to be heard later in this meeting. When you address council, please begin by uh, clearly stating your name and address for the record. For those citizens uh, wishing to comment, there are forms near the entrance. Please fill out a form and hand to the city clerk. Uh, Jenna, excuse me, uh, Stephanie, right over here. Audience comments must be limited to the issues and information presented in the hearing examiner's record. Because this meeting involves the rights of a specific party in a land use matter, it is being conducted in the council's quasi-judicial capacity and must be fair in form and substance as well as appearance. To that end, I will now ask council members questions to ensure fairness of the proceedings. Um, council, do any of the council members have an interest in the property or, uh, or this issue? Okay, that issue uh, response is no. Do any of the council members gain or lose any financial benefit as a result of the outcome of this hearing? No. Okay, it's unanimous no. Are there any council members who cannot hear and consider this matter in a fair and objective manner? No. Okay, unanimously no. I would like to ask if there's anyone in the audience who objects to any council member's participation in these proceedings. Okay, hearing none. Um, has any member of the council um, has any member of the council engaged in communications outside this hearing with opponents or proponents on the issue to be heard? Okay, unanimously no. If so, that council member obviously that, that did not occur. Okay. Um, all right. Before hearing from the applicant, I'm going to introduce Associate Planner Natalie Kamenecki, who will present the background information and the hearing examiner's recommendation. Uh, please hold your questions until after we conclude presentations and comments. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mayor Farrell. Good evening, Deputy Mayor Honda and all council members. Uh, for the record, again, my name is Natalie Kamenicki, the associate planner assigned to the review of Creekside Commons Townhome Development, which, again, is a preliminary plat, uh, wetland buffer reduction with enhancement plan, and quasi-judicial project-related rezone, um, which, again, brings us to um, this forum for the final uh, approval of this project. The project site is located at 1802 and 1816 South 333rd Street um, and is comprised of three different parcels. Um, we have two parcels located to the north. Um, all these maps, north is located to the uh, left-hand side of the screen. Um, so the project site is comprised of three parcels, parcels A and B to the north, which um, have the existing residences. Parcel C to the south is uh, vacant at this time. Uh, the project site is approximately overall 10.18 acres. Uh, currently the site is zoned residential multifamily 3600. Uh, the proposal includes the request for rezone to 
uh, residential multifamily 2400. Uh, the site um, contains critical areas, as we can see, um, which run from a northeast to a southwest uh, direction um, and is bisected by South 333rd Street. Uh, the critical areas include a Category 3 wetland on the north property, Category 2 wetland on the south, and non-fish bearing drainage um, bisecting through uh, the project site. So again, we have a preliminary plat application for 94 single family townhome lots uh, to be owned in fee simple uh, with the land underneath the structure. Um, the uh, project will be primarily accessed by public roadways, um, internal and also South 333rd and uh, 20th Avenue South. Um, on the east side of the property. Um, there are a few private tracks that will also provide access to the rear access alley lots. Um, but again, uh, public right of ways are, are uh, located throughout uh, the, the proposed project. Uh, Public services, including fire, police, and utilities, um, are located at the site. Uh, fire and police have indicated that uh, the level of service is there and would not increase um, below or, or go below standard um, uh, levels of service. Um, with Lake Haven, the developer will be required to. Uh, ex to enter into a developer extension agreement for water and sewer. Uh, transportation concurrency review was conducted for the site um, and it was found that level of operations would not um, go below uh, standard service levels with the proposed project. Um, internal streets again will be constructed to city standards. Uh, South 33rd Street uh, will be upgraded to city standards as well as um, a full street upgrade along the south portion of South 20th Avenue and a half street improvement along the north side of the project. Um, a roundabout uh, will be installed at the intersection of 20th and South 3 333rd. Um, as noted before, um, there are wetland uh, wetland areas on site and also non-fish bearing drainage. Uh, so the applicants have prepared a wetland buffer enhancement plan in order to uh, allow for a 25% reduction of wetland buffers. Um, Fish and wildlife assessment was submitted by the applicants and peer reviewed by the city's consultant um, and found to be in compliance with the standards applicable to that approval. Um, we have a sample plan here for the preliminary buffer enhancement, um, which will be uh, done throughout the buffer on site. Open space for the project is also provided at 400 square feet per unit, 200 square feet of that open space to be provided on the individual lots, um, which we can see is primarily um, indicated through the uh, backyard area. Um, than other common areas as tracks to be hon owned uh, in common with uh, the owners of the, of the plat. Preliminary stormwater, um, oh, this is the landscaping plan, excuse me. Landscape plan, um, as we can see here, provides for internal trees um, as well as the uh, play equipment for children. Uh, preliminary technical information um, has been reviewed by Public Works um, and final uh, technical information review will happen during permit review. Um, so the quasi-judicial project specific rezone uh, for the site 
um, is intended to achieve uh, what the density would be if the site weren't so encumbered with different critical areas. Um, so in order to achieve that density, um, the request for rezone um, uh, the applicants have applied for. Um, uh, once all this, excuse me, um, once a technical review was completed for the project, a SEPA determination was issued for the site on uh, February 22nd, 2019, uh, comment deadline of March 8th, 2019. The Muckleshoot uh, Tribe of Indians provided comment regarding the classification of drainage on site, which the applicants provided uh, a response to, which was reviewed by the city's third party review contact and provided to the tribe. Um, subsequent to that discussion, there were no uh, changes to the initial determination and no appeals were filed. Uh, the Federal Way Hearing Examiner held a public hearing on October 10th, 2019, um, and issued a recommendation on October 24th uh, to approve the project, recommendation of approval. Uh, for you to consider. Um, the proposed subdivision and, uh, and wetland buffer reduction and quasi-judicial <coughs> rezone are consistent with the preliminary plat standards of Title 18 and the zoning um, Title 19 and um, staff concurs with mayor approval of this project. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. All right, Council, do you have any questions? Council Member Sefa Dawson. Thank you. Um, so I, I do appreciate the street improvements because I do work not too far from there. Um, so this project is in two phases, correct? That's correct. Um, is there any possibility that the second phase will not happen, could potentially happen? I mean, Anything like that, or um, how would that be, as we move forward, how is that going to be addressed or considered? Uh, not to my knowledge that it would not be completed. That may be something that uh, the applicants could provide more information on. All right, thank you. Uh, Councilman Rahana? The non-fish stream, was it once a fish burying stream, and does the stream have a name? The stream does not have a name. Um, it's not, to my knowledge, been ever classified as fish bearing. I believe there is a letter from someone who stated that she thought it was at one time. Not that I have found okay. on any DNR maps or WDFW mapping, and that was not the finding in the in the peer reviewed um, biological work that the applicants and the city um, peer will do. Peer uh, review consultant found not to be a fish bearing, not to have those physical attributes or or the the criteria for fish bearing. Okay, thank you. All right, council, any other questions? All right, thank you, Natalie. Thank you. Um, it's my understanding that the applicant is here tonight. Uh, would you please step forward to the podium and identify yourself for the record and proceed with your comments? Good evening, council members. My name is Pete Gonzalez. Um, my company's business address is 33400 uh, 8th Avenue South, um, Suite 205 here in Federal Way. Um, um, my company, ESM Consulting Engineers, has been the consultant on this project for the last couple of years for our, our clients, Blue Fern. Uh, the uh, owners of Blue Fern are here. Uh, Jordan, Ben, and John, and they're very excited about uh, completing this process and getting on with the project. Um, I don't have any comments about the rezone um, or the project plat. I just was wanted to be here to answer any questions that you had. Um, uh, council member asked about completion of the project. Um, the project uh, will be bonded through the city, and so any required improvements will be completed as part of that bond anyway. Um, whether or not the portions of the project might be built uh, within the, the property limits are really up to the developer, but in terms of the, the uh, public improvements that are required to support the remainder of the project will be built. Um, 
And unless you have any other questions. Um... Council, any questions? I, Council Member Coach Mark. Um, thank you very much, Mayor Farrell. I'm just curious, it's, I can't, because it, the print is so small, it's difficult to see how many, how many lots are going to be included, how many townhomes? No, there'll be 94 units. 94, and, and the square footage of the townhomes? <clears throat> Um, I, I can estimate, uh, like, on the order of 800 square feet. Okay, thank you. Is that close? All right, Council, any other? All right, thank you, Pete. Thanks very much. Okay, uh, at this time, um, the floor is open for comments from the audience. All comments must be limited to the issues and information contained in the hearing examiner's record. Um, and do we have any... Uh, Sheets? Okay. Is anybody here? I can just answer that on early maps. Sir, actually, uh, sir, w would you come up to, we want to make sure we get it uh, uh, captured on, uh, we're, obviously we're audio and video recording. Would you please state your name and, and your comment? Ken Moberg. Okay. Our family's owned it since 1947. Yes, My sir. dad bought it the year I was born. Uh, early maps show that called the tributary 19C to the Hylobus Waterway. Huh? Oh, thank you very much. Do you know if it's... Uh, Ken, do you know if, uh, if it's ever uh, hosted any uh, fish or fish bearing? Uh, certainly not since the 40s. Uh, there are barriers downstream. I'm not sure what years they were built, but there are currently four, uh, 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 whether you call them dams or containments, downstream. Uh, and and uh, yeah. someone else said, and then there's been no beaver since Hudson's Bay came. So <laughs> hmm, Interesting. All right. Thank you, Ken. I was actually just talking to the mayor of Pacific yesterday, and they said that they've got uh, quite an issue with beavers in their area and, and ponding as a result. So it was sort of interesting. We don't we don't hear about that a lot here. So um, that's probably not appropriate for the record. But sorry, uh, Mark. Um, okay. Uh, anybody else from the audience? Please, sir. Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council Members. Uh, my name is Jordan Salisbury. I work for Blue Fern Development, the applicant for the project. I just wanted to correct uh, the question about the size of the, the units. I'm, uh, my understanding is the question is about this, the, the size of the actual townhomes to get built, not the lots. Um, the townhomes will likely be, of course, we haven't applied or designed the, the vertical component of the project yet, but I think more 1,500 to 2,000 square feet is probably a more accurate number. Okay, that's helpful. Council, any questions for Mr. Salisbury? All right, thank you very much, thank Jordan. You. Okay. Okay, um, any other comments from the audience? Any other comments? Okay. Um, Council, uh, do you have any questions of staff, the applicant, or any of the citizens who commented? Okay, hearing none? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Council Member Honda. That's okay. I'm, I'm, it's, I have to. I know. So used to calling you Deputy Mayor, but I, go ahead. Uh, the schools. Yes. So the schools have had input on this? Uh, Natalie? Uh, yes, Apologies. The schools have um, received comment, and there was also a school impact analysis completed by the applicants. Um, so they have had input. What elementary school would the, these students go to at this time? I would have to look that up. I don't know that off the top of my head. I apologize. Can't even think of the closest elementary school. Hmm. Um, hmm. We've got a uh, Panther, Panther, Panther Lake. Lake. Yeah. I was going to ask Councilmember Moore. He was at a school today. Mayor Farrell and okay. council members, yeah. this is Mark Worthman, Deputy City Attorney. Um, unfortunately, the school district that may be served by this is likely not in the record before the hearing examiner. And okay. we, we can follow up. I can follow up with you, Deputy Mayor Honda, and get that answer okay. later. Thank you. All right. Uh, sure. If I may, Pete Gonzalez again. Yeah. Rainier View Elementary is the closest one. Yeah. Rainier View. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Pete. 
Okay, any other questions? Okay, um, seeing there are no more questions, the public meeting is hereby closed. Um, the Open Public Meetings Act does not apply when the council acts, council, um, sorry, not to be, not to like a teacher here, but um, the Open Public Meetings Act does not apply when the council acts in its quasi-judicial role. Therefore, the city council may deliberate in a closed session regarding the pending applications, may or may not. Would the council like to meet in a closed session to discuss this issue? Council? Okay, uh, hearing no request, uh, therefore we'll stay in open session. Uh, there are two res resolutions before the council uh, action tonight. Uh, Councilmember Copain, do you have a motion for the preliminary plat resolution? I do. I move approval of the proposed resolution. Second. Okay. Been a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The matter passes unanimously. Uh, Councilmember Copain, do you have a motion for the intent to rezone resolution? I do. I move approval of the proposed resolution. Second. It's been a motion. A second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. That matter uh, passes unanimously. Uh, the uh, uh, the regular city council meeting will uh, convene at 6:30 p.m. Until then, we're in recess. Hey, Mr. Mayor, we, we need to actually have an executive session. <clears throat> Sorry, we do have an executive session, um, and it's noted on our. Uh, special meeting agenda, uh, potential litigation pursuant to 4230-1101-I. Um, yep, and we will, uh, that would imagine, imagine, what, about 30 minutes? Okay, 15 tops. All right, uh, we'll be in recess for that purpose. <laughs>